Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Games I'd Like to Film. Today we're playing what? Primordia by Wadget Eye Games. Primordia by Wadget Eye Games. As always, uh, my name is Kurtz. And my name is Run Bam Run Faster. But you've all know what I call him at this point. It's Bam. It's Bam. Spoiler. Anyway, uh, this is a point-and-click adventure game. Yes, one of my favorite genres. Also one of the genres I'm Almost worst at. There. Oh yeah, apparently we walked... Right into a cutscene. Yep. Right. It starts right off with a cutscene. Uh, that is a fancy chair. And one more piece of the unique is operational. One down, one million to go. Speaking of which, boss, I found exactly none of what the parts you wanted. A whole day at the junk pile and all You are a useless flubber machine. Conduits. Maybe next time. Uh, boss, are you sure you got those settings? Well, right? I was cal calibrating a, a telescope, so I'd be I impressed if I didn't. Engineering. Let's go. Telescopes aren't known to explode. No, but we can if we if we try. There's what do you mean? There's no time. Of course, there's time. There's always time for stargazing. No oh, look, look at this big fancy ornate chair. Look at this. This this is nice. Look at those swirly bits. Mm. It's like the red spot of Jupiter on this thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, boss, maybe we should see what's happening. I think they want you to go down the hatch. Oh, do they? Down the hatch. I'm I'm just I'm just having fun sitting here to be a perfect house. By the way, um Kurtz is going to be controlling the Oh yes, today. yes, Kurtz Kurtz is in control of the mouse. So if you guys get upset at like how little progress we make or how much we're dicking around Blame Bam. I have the controller. I can do what I want. I'm not okay with this. No time for sleeping. This is a very um are we going to give our background info? In so, in so far as what? Um, I believe, are, 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 aren't we robots? We are robots. We are robots. Why do we have a bed? Because robots gotta sleep, man. You don't know. Robots don't sleep. Maybe these robots do. Sleep mode's something they got rid of in you, the 2020s. You've been in this universe for less than five minutes. You don't know shit about whether robots need to sleep or not. Go through the hatch. Hatch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Going through the hatch. Okay, we have recharge station. Okay. No time to recharge. All right, Professor Oak. No charge. No time for anything. Jesus. You can't use that here. Uh oh. Hmm. This room seems totally unassuming. Nothing could happen here. Oh. No, not not with a floating blue thing. That's someone someone's got a weaponized laser pointer. That could be a problem. Oh God. Crispin, get This is an evil refrigerator. Who are you? Yeah, my refrigerator wants power too. It's constantly sucking away at it. Core, boss. Can't live with him. Stop can't live right without there. him. This ship belongs to me. Thunder. I don't think he's this is a Viking robot. I don't. Property. Get away from the power core. Ow! Well, that was the shortest point-and-click adventure game we ever played. Come back next week. Where we're playing some other inane bullshit. I don't know. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Game over, I guess. That is the shiniest D20 I've ever seen. <laughs> I, knew you, I knew As soon as I saw it multiple point, you were going for that D20 joke. Oh, oh dear. And that's how I died the first time. Boss? Boss? Wait, are you see? Horatio? Come on, Horatio. Oh, Horatio. I knew him well. Oh. Apparently, our name is Horatio, Ooh, and this is Crispin, okay. so we what have happened? names. Yep, and they're both from oh, Shakespeare. Big ugly, and big ugly who I'm now referring to as the Evil Refrigerator. Can we just call him Maytag? And Maytag. That sounds suitably evil yeah. when you put it in that sort of thing. Fun evil. fact, kids, Maytag is evil. I'll be fine. The evil Emperor Maytag. I like it. Mm. I Write that one down. <laughs> We could just go to Metropole, city of glass and light. Free energy for one and all. Don't believe everything you hear. I was Metropole about to say, a city of glass and light does not sound very, um, sturdy. Yeah, light is not known for its architectural properties. Well, until you get to the Halo universe, they actually build stuff out of it. That is actually pretty nice. You and your projects. Man built us to build, Crispin. Whoa, whoa, okay. Man built us to build? Um, 
Okay, so we've got robots, and man built us the build. So we are in this universe. We are sort of in a humans made robots. Or at least in a universe where humans made robots. Yes, okay. Obviously these things things are the same. Look look at that look at that desert. Some, something bad happened. You know, boss, if you're ever wondering what I would do, feel free to just ask. I'll keep that in mind. Is that Logan Cunningham? On the on Horatio? You know what? That that sounds like something we need to look at between episodes. That is. That is. We will be back with you next week on for, whether or not this is our favorite voice actor that we yeah. didn't even know about. For 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 those of you who don't know, uh, Logan Cunningham uh, is the guy who voices Rux from Bastion, which is one of our favorite games. When I was out of uh, and he has an amazing voice. Yes. And I think that might be him, actually. Facade. Facade. I love it when people try to make up curse words. Coordinates back in, though. <laughs> What's the one from Battlestar? Uh, I don't know. I know. Is uh, it frack? Fracking. Yes. Yeah. They call it fracking. This it replaces fucking. And then uh, what is it? Firefly has Gorum. Yeah. Uh, was it Artemis? Uh, Artem the Artemis Fowl books had the uh, fart. 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 I have not read Artemis. It's Fowl. it's D apostrophe V A R T. Well, you got to put an apostrophe into your. Can't pick well, no, you can't pick up the entire tail wing. You're I'd not be impressed Luke Skywalker. if you could, though. I can't move this without some kind of crane, which I certainly don't have time to build. We just now. build cranes. I mean, oh, oh, uh, oh my God! Nothing worth salvaging. Wait, wait. That's. Is this? Uh, that's Tom Servo. Is it? That is Tom Servo from Mystery oh, Science Theater oh, 3000. I, can I zoom in? Can I? No. I'll no, you cannot. Unfortunately, okay. Tom Servo is not worth salvaging. Awesome, though. I love that they made that. I love that they put that in. That's terrible. That is amazing. I think they made him broken. <laughs> Crispin. Crispin's just going to hang out there, like, whatever. Conduit! Conduit, conduit. It's a segment of Gordium Electrical Gordium. Conduit. Gordium. I used to know what that was. I don't anymore. I can't just scoop it Yeah, you it can. I know that attitude, you can't. You know, some people just don't want to get their hands dirty. Crispin, when I told you to find a new spark plug, did you just shove my conductive putty into the old one? Uh, maybe. No wonder the generator isn't working. At least the putty is still... Okay, so... God, the... Crispin. Got some putty. It's not going to do anything until the generator... God, goes. Kurtz. Shut up, dude. You always gotta try. A sturdy cable. Hey, we got a cable. Hey, cable. Just click on all the things. You know, you know there's a UI... I've tried patching this a dozen different ways without success. There's a UI up at the top of the screen, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah. Crispin. There's the... Okay, well, there's also Crispin. Crispin, do things. What if I click on you? I can't use myself until you get your hands. <laughs> well, I <laughs> did. You know, I didn't think they'd fit in a masturbation joke this early, but look at that. You know what? We really underestimate these people. We do. We do. Why did I games? Good on you. But no, go to the... Yeah, there's the map, and then you can, oh, okay. and then you can go to like the other place. Also, this is how I navigate. Okay, I thought I had yeah. to click through it, actually. Like, actually click through it. I mean, I, you might be able to, but... Let's see. Mm. Just scrap. It's just scrap. I can't see anything to do. Well, you're not trying hard enough, are you? Uh, looks like there's some conduits over there. Where? Here? No, no down. That up, that in the lockbox. Fine, I can, I'll, I'll look, this whatever. Is, you're not very. Kurtz isn't very it's good at point-and-click adventure games. I don't think. Uh, By your feet. No. There's nothing. Oh, the these. Okay. It's three pieces of gold. Oh, well, he was standing over them. Unfortunately, one of them is completely... Uh, See, it's only worth two-thirds of what you thought it was worth, so don't even start with me. <laughs> That's still two Gordium conduits you were about to pass up. Still locked. Well, normally when I'm playing myself, I'm just, I click on it's everything. Mm -hmm. Hey! Hey, uh, so we got a tube. I can't... Hang on. I can't reach the you know who can, though? Yeah! We have a tiny robot just for this purpose. Crispin, can you go in there and get that piece of conduit? Wait, how is he doing this without hands? Don't ask this question. Just, just is, is he just like putting it in his teeth? Would have been a lot easier with hands See, it addresses your concerns. He's not doing it easily. Fair enough. He's probably smuggling it in his butt. Point primordia. 
Okay. Uh, so we can't get in the lockbox. No, we cannot. Maybe Chris can get the lockbox. Yep, that's the one I found. You are so helpful, Crispin. <laughs> Crispin, you are not helping at all. Uh, check your inventory. Uh, uh, just just sorry. go to the inventory screen. What are we at? All right, we got a data pouch, putty, a cable, and four conduits. One of which is doesn't work. There's got to be like another tool or something that you need to open the. You box. know, we, you, we've got that fancy ship. Let's go back there and look. Okay. Because I didn't get to look around. Let's look. It? Let's look inside of our ship. There's a ladder. The how, how did he pronounce it? The unique. The unique. Because I mean, it, you're in the future. You have to misspell things. Oh, I uh, got a lantern. There's no way I can reach. Oh, that. Well, we know the cure. Well, get for that. some jumps, boy. I know, what is this? 2014, and we cannot jump. We are apparently, you know, powerful robots. But it, vertical. Oh no, no, no! We don't do vertical. What is this, Zelda? That's right. We're looking at you. Yeah. Come on, Miyamoto. Give us a jump foot. You grab that lantern. Sure. You know, I really am thinking he's just going up there and sort of knock. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. You know, I always wanted to be able to fly. That's why I built you with a maglev unit. Not so that you could store tools on hard to reach ledges. Well, that too. Well. Now you know what, I wish you had a maglev unit, then I could use you for something useful. Ouch. Well, I've got to go cry in a corner, everybody. But now that we've solved the mystery of the halogen lamp, uh, I mean, that's it for this episode. Do you think this, uh, so far, has anything? Because I'm, I'm enjoying clicking things. I'm enjoying it. This is this is a fun, it's a weird little game. We've barely it's, scratched the surface, it's, but it's it's interesting. It's weird, and I think it's... Oh, hey! Duh. The ladder? No, up. Oh, down. Down. Oh, way! Look at that bonus he, conduit, guys. He can be taught, folks. Uh, <laughs> well, if you liked this episode, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share with all your friends. And until then, I've been Run Bam Run Faster. And I've been Kurtz, who can't see anything on the screen without nope. prompting. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.